Okay, today we're going to talk about the second phase of the second one of our rape prevention series. We're going to talk about environmental awareness. Now, with environmental awareness, there's some general rules you want to be aware of. Number one, for instance, you want to stay in well-lighted populated areas. You want to avoid those dark parking lots, those dark streets, places where bad guys can hang out with bad intent. Don't get yourself backed into a corner, unprotected corner. Of course, you can get somewhere locked and secure, that's okay avoid the back corners. Pay attention to the people in the buildings and the parking lots. You see people congregating, you know, they, you know the really bad looking ones are some that, that are more questionable or hard to figure out, but if there's a whole group of uh, shifty looking 20 something young men in the corner of a parking lot, you definitely don't want to be approaching that particular area. Uh, avoid also large hedges and trees. There have been a lot of rapes conducted, people hiding behind the hedges, hiding behind rows of trees. They come out, they grab an abduct a woman, pull him inside, and of course, yeah, cause problems. So beware of places people can hide and avoid those, or be aware of them in a way that you can protect yourself or get away. Keep your distance from potential threats. If you just feel uncomfortable with it, trust your gut, trust your instincts. A gentleman is never going to want to cause you to feel uncomfortable. I've been in cars with a friend, he was running to the bank, and there was a woman who was walking back from the, the night teller, and we waited in the car until she was in the vehicle securely pulling away so that she didn't feel uncomfortable. I've walked down streets, and there have been women either coming towards me or walking the same direction, and I've changed sides of the streets or fallen back so that woman doesn't feel uncomfortable like she's in a threat position. Be aware of that. The gentleman is not going to want you to feel uncomfortable and if you turn around and somebody is close, you, just, you turn around and be like, get away from me, keep your distance, something of that effect, very loud, very clear. If they don't, then you start looking for options of where to run and where to get away. If somebody starts coming close, start yelling at the top of your lungs, get away from me, get away from me, and be moving as quickly as you can, running towards a potential safe spot. Be aware of what's behind you. If you're walking down the street, if you're walking through a parking lot, not only do you have to be aware of what's going on ahead, but somebody could come out of a car, somebody's trying to ambush you, they can sneak in behind you and attack you and ambush you from behind. So you've got to be aware as you're going through these places, looking around and being aware of what's out and about so that you don't get ambushed. If possible, use a buddy system. Have somebody with you so that there's multiple people looking around. Less chance of somebody trying to attack multiple individuals than a single individual. If you're in a building, say you're late after work and, and you've worked and there's nobody in the parking lot, it's kind of scary outside. If there's security, call for security and get an escort to the vehicle. So there's some other protective factor. Be aware. Be aware of the lighting, be aware of hiding places, be aware of your escape routes. Be aware of what's around you. Also, if possible, avoid alcohol and drugs. Some people like to play that way. It's fine, but once you do, your awareness is going to reduce. It's going to be much less than it otherwise would be. Also, your ability to operate your body. If you're drunk, you're going to have a much tougher time running and sprinting for safety or trying to beat off an attacker than if you were sober and completely aware of your situation. So these are quick tips for the day. We will continue a variety of other potential advice and instruction to avoid rape, rape prevention series, but that's the end of rape prevention, the second one.